Was Jesus a uniter or a divider? Back in 2000, a man ran for the presidency who won, and one of the things he said regularly on the campaign trail was, I'm a uniter, not a divider. Reminded me of a time from my childhood, back in 1968, when in his speech at the convention, another presidential candidate said people were telling him, bring us together. And that made me think of a slogan I saw from a pastor in Michigan a few years back. You might remember 2020 was a very difficult year for a lot of people with COVID and riots and other things. And this pastor was saying, Jesus brings people together. Is that true? I want to ask you today about Luke chapter 12 and verse 51, where Jesus says, Think not I came to bring peace on earth, but rather division. And he goes on to say that now in a person's household, it will be divided five against two and two against five. What's he talking about? And how could Jesus be divisive? Maybe it goes like this. There would be some who would cling to the old ways, the frozen ways of the scribes and Pharisees, the oral tradition added on to the Torah. And they would cling to the old, those old ways rather than taking the challenge of Jesus to drink the new wine. Jesus was developing the old ways and speaking now about the kingdom of God. But some, some would cling to the old religion. How about you? Are you clinging to old religious ways? Maybe you learned them as a teenager in your childhood when you were a young adult. But maybe Jesus is bigger. Maybe Jesus is wilder. Maybe Jesus is different than we thought. And that's where the division is. Those who cling to old frozen concepts of the Lord versus those who walk with him in discipleship and discovery. That's the division. And Jesus says, I came to cast division on the earth. Let's be on the right side of that division. This is your daily devotional for Monday. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. Hope you'll pour over the words of Jesus and seek first the kingdom of God. God bless you as you serve him today.